Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com and this is Mathy, my mascot and assistant. In this lesson we're going to study tenths and also adding with tenths. And here I have a number line from 0 to 1 and a little bit beyond. And between 0 and 1 it is divided into 10 parts. So each part is 1 tenth. As a fraction I would write here 1 tenth for this tick mark. And over here for this tick mark I would write 3 tenths. Okay? There's also another way to write fractions that have tenths, or ten as a denominator, and that is using decimal numbers. This decimal number is one tenth. Okay? And three tenths as a decimal we write this way. Zero point three. After the decimal point comes a number that means how many tenths there are. Here, for example, is zero point nine. It is nine tenths, okay? It is just another way of writing the fraction 9 tenths. And here, after 1, we get to this tick mark and it is 1 and 1 tenth, written this way, 1.1. 1 .1. It means 1 and 1 tenth. And for example, here would be 1 and 4 tenths, written as 1.4. So that is pretty simple, right? Here I have a model for fractions, so let's write it as a fraction and as a decimal both. Because it has 10 parts, 3 are colored, as a fraction I have 3 tenths. I'll write the same as a decimal 2, so I will have 0, point, and 3. This is telling you how many tenths there are. Now this model has a 1 whole and then 5 tenths. So 1 and 5 tenths. As a decimal I write 1, then decimal point and 5. Let's now here change either from a decimal to a fraction or vice versa here. This is a decimal, 0 0.9, and we can read it as 9 tenths. As a fraction, obviously we write 9 tenths. This has 3 and 7 tenths. So I write 3 and 7 tenths. This is 1 and 8 tenths as a fraction or mixed number. As a decimal, I write 1 and then point. And then how many tenths I have here? Eight. One and eight tenths. And people read decimal numbers like this two ways. They read it as one and eight tenths or 1.8. Let's compare now some. Here I have 0 0.3. Three tenths. Which one is more? Well, that's actually a trick question because they are equal, right? This is three tenths. Here I have one third and then one and three tenths. Now, this number has one. It is more than one whole, so obviously it is more than just one third. Here's one half and 0 0.6, which is six tenths. Now, one half would be equal to five tenths, right? So six tenths is more. Here we make a number line from three to four with tick marks every tenth. And you need a ruler for that. And then, after you have your tick marks, then we will write under the tick marks the decimal numbers. Okay, here's my ruler. I'll draw a line, and then I need to divide it into 10 parts, which for me means every 5 centimeters. There, and now, this is 3, this is 4. And here would be 3 and 1 tenth, 3.1. Here's 3 and 2 tenths, 3 and 3 tenths, and so on. This last one would be 3 and 9 tenths. And 4 tenths. Okay.